I lift things up and put them down. Next, and that's not my God. All right, so do you remember that commercial for a gym that you could join? The guy, big muscle head, said, you know, I lift things up and I put them down. And, you know, that usually sums up a lot of missions trips. Um, what'd you do? Well, we uh, uh, move this here, move that there. And, you know, the thing about missions trips are they can be a lot of fun. They can be very life-changing. But quite honestly, the upbringing I had, missions trips, uh, you usually ended up going to foreign countries, doing puppet ministry and human videos. <laughs> I've never liked human videos. And that was it. And then there were the missions trips I discovered where you actually go down and you tangibly do things for other people in other countries. You wouldn't take over the job, but you would, at some point along the way, um, join the people that are working there and get something accomplished. Um, an addition to a building, a new little church, or wherever the case may be. Well, right now I am in a parking lot staring at a big Waffle House sign at a Super 8 motel here in Nashville. Um, and I have nine people from the church that I pastor along with me. <laughs> Two have their door open right now playing a rousing game of Farkle. Um, I'm not sure if you ever played that game, but you, you could swear really easy if you pronounce that wrong. But what we're doing is uh, we're here for uh, Pastor Bob Beeman um, from Sanctuary International and his Bridge Bunch group and we are literally building a new food shed for this ministry. Um, it's a 14 foot by 24 foot food shed um, that was basically just two by fours and walls and we are adding insulation, electric, electronics, um, electricity, I should say, uh, plumbing, paneling, counters, sink, fridges, freezers, air conditioner, all in there um, within a three-day period. We're cranking this thing out. We got here on Monday and came into town, grabbed some food, went to sleep, and Tuesday, today, and tomorrow, we will be there from 8 a.m. till probably 7, 7.30 p.m trying to get this thing done. Now, there's a verse in the Bible that goes like this. Whether you eat or drink, or whatever you do, you do it for the glory of God. And so we're designing, we're building this food ministry for God, this food shed for God. And, um, you know, I've, this is my fourth time down here uh, annually when uh, we would go and feed the group uh, under the bridge that the bridge bunch feeds. And this year I came down, I said, not to sound mean, Pastor Bob, not to sound mean to my church group that's coming down, but I'm not here to feed people. I'm here to um, build a shed that will keep these people fed, and uh, it's very, very ne necessary to have done. And so that's what we're doing. Um, we're doing this thing, we're, do we're on a missions trip, and you know, sometimes you just gotta get out of Dodge, get out of your own city, to get a little bit of a worldview of what's going on. Where I come from, there's a little bit of a homeless rate, but not very strong. Down here, there's a huge homeless rate. And in fact, one of the people that are homeless is helping us daily build this food shed so that we can function and they can function um, starting the, uh, this weekend. And we're tomorrow morning, in fact, we're hoping to get the fridges and the freezers in so that they can start organizing the food and not skip a beat on this thing. So, you know, here's the deal we can be cynical towards missions trips you know if, if you're not doing ministry here why would you think about doing ministry down there in a foreign land or in another state in our case well it's quite 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 honestly we can become complacent um, for me living in central Wisconsin you know as a pastor I'm always mission-minded but at the same time I can fall into that rut and other people fall into that rut seeing that this is our area, this is what we live in, and this is what the world must be like. It's not always the case. So when you go on a missions trip, you're doing this for Jesus, and there may be something that sparks or clicks in you that you're gonna take home and do when you get back to where you belong. So, a lot of cool things going on. Hey, if you wanna get behind this project, um, go to sanctuaryinternational.com, click on fundraiser, and they really need to uh, raise a couple more dollars um, to get this project done. So hope you visit that site. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.